today's discussion point is new construction. Pros and cons of new construction. Everybody loves new. Whether it's a new car or a new house, everybody loves it. It's got that new car or new house smell to it. The fact that nobody else has used it. There's no dirt hiding anywhere that's someone else's. Everything is brand new. Appliances are new. Fixtures are new. Floors are new. Everything is new, new, new. It's even painted new. Windows are new. There's no scratches. There's no nothing. It's perfect. Also with new, you get a warranty. You get a home builder warranty from the state of New Jersey and it protects you against certain things for a period anywhere from a year to 10 years, depending on what it is with the building. So you get some peace of mind with new as well. Uh, certain builders, they even come in after four months, so six months, 11 months, and they come in and they say, hey, you know what's wrong? Is anything wrong? Is there anything we can fix? A lot of times when you're buying new construction and the workmen are still on site, you can even have them come and do things sort of immediately. Like, hey, this board is a little loose here, this cabinet is a little loose there, and somebody will just pop over and fix it really quickly for you so that uh, you can just move on versus having to fill out a warranty card or uh, schedule an appointment. So there's some definite value to having those workmen on site for new. Um, also, a really big positive of new construction is that it's a new social network. Everybody there is new. It's like going to a new school where everybody is new. No one knows each other, so they're more willing to go out and meet their neighbors and kind of get to know each other. And everybody's experiencing some of the same things at the same time about it all being new and being exciting. So you can definitely get a lot more um, social interaction than when you're the person moving in and everybody else has been there five years and they've already kind of know everyone else and, and it's like you're the new kid coming into the school. Some of the downsides of new construction, maybe some of the rules aren't set for the HOA. So uh, things you have questions about, maybe what hours the community room uh, is run or how things are run or how bills are paid. So you have, you know, there's some things that are a challenge when the rules aren't set. And also the flip side is of a new construction is that the building isn't completely tested. It's not like a new car where, you know, they've run a thousand production models up through the uh, line and now by the time you're getting one, they've kind of worked out all the kinks. With a building, you get one chance at it. So when it's new, it's new. If there's something that's broken or not built exactly right, you're the one that suffers from it. From an elevator being down to a clogged sink or, or, or sewer line, um, just know that there are some downsides to new, but uh, everybody does love it. There's definitely a premium for it. Anywhere from 10 to 25% is what people pay as a premium for new. Uh, if you have any questions about new construction opportunities that are coming up, definitely reach out to me.